Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, community activist Ben Frazier removed by police during tonight's Jacksonville City Council meeting. The cameras were rolling as the president of the Northside Coalition was taken out of City Hall. And this happened as many activists called for the council to remove Confederate monuments in the city of Jacksonville. Tonight, News for Jack spoke with Frazier's attorney, John Phillips, who says Frazier was arrested and taken to jail. News for Jack's reporter, Renee Beninati, attended tonight's meeting where all of this unfolded. Renee? Joy, Ben Frazier told me that he was tired of asking city leaders to remove these monuments and said that he was now going to demand this. I never expected that all of this would end with him getting escorted out of City Hall here in handcuffs. Mr. Frazier, thank you so much for coming. Your time is up now, Mr. Frazier. President of Northside Coalition, Ben Frazier, refusing to step down from the podium when his time was up during public comment. We're not moving. JSO officers then dragged him out of Monday City Council meeting in handcuffs and put him in the back of a cruiser. But how did we get there? Let's rewind. Hey, hey, ho, ho. These racist statues got to go. Inside and outside City Hall, activists were calling for leaders to remove Confederate monuments in the city. What message would you like to get out today? We want to be clear that the city council, the city government, and many other elected officials have been kicking this can down the road for far too long. Take up, down! Take up, down, down! Many believe the monuments are painful symbols of racism and white supremacy. There is no reason why this city is still glorifying white supremacy and idolizing the various statues that symbolizes the lynchings, the torture, and the separation of family. I'm here to speak in favor of keeping our monuments. Others want to keep the statue, saying they do not want history to be erased. It was put up to honor the women of the South who took care of their families while the men were off at war. Nothing about white supremacy there. Time will tell if the monuments will stay or be removed. In the meantime, activists on both sides say they'll make sure their voices are heard loud and clear. Remove the Confederate monuments. Take them down. Remove the Confederate monuments. In the past hour, attorney John Phillips released a statement about tonight's public comment and Frazier's arrest. He wrote in part seeking to hold the city to its promise of removal. Longtime community activist and client Ben Frazier spoke closer to the standard three minutes of allotted time. City Council President Terrence Freeman asked Mr. Frazier be escorted out of the meeting. Instead, he was arrested and taken to jail without his ADA assistance devices. Ben also has publicly battled cancer. We hope that he will receive proper care and attention to his health care limitations. Now, one thing to keep in mind is because of the large turnout at tonight's city council meeting, public speakers were only given about one minutes compared to the typical three minutes. Now, tonight it is still unclear what charges Frazier will face. Reporting live outside Jacksonville City Hall, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station. Renee, thank you. You may remember Ben Frazier was also arrested at City Hall back in January before a news conference with Governor DeSantis. Those charges were eventually dropped.